salutations friends welcome back to my channel today is going to be day nine of my M. Mikalef perfume advent calendar now I love these videos they've been a lot of fun I get to experience new fragrances and share them with you so if you're interested in seeing what today's fragrance is keep watching <laughs> So, I had to find day nine, it's right here. I'm just gonna open this little guy and then put this down and then let you know what's in here. Um, this is a Pure from, again, Emmy Kalef. Now, when I went to see information on this fragrance, all I saw was Pure Extreme. Now, I didn't find any fragrance that was just Pure. I don't know if it's been around, so I'm just gonna read you the information on Pure Extreme. If I am incorrect and I will come back and edit this video so um, but I did want to share with you pure extreme or pure that's what it says if you see on the bottle um, but let's get into it I put a little bit on here to let you know what I think okay this is a gorgeous floral um, this is it's not a bright floral but it's not like a Devi, uh, Devi, a heavy, choky floral. You know how some florals can be soapy, some florals can be a little bit too heavy or be really bright? This is kind of like, it's a really nice mix between just being slightly soapy, a little bit sweet, but not heavy at all. Uh, it's really pretty. I'm going to read you the notes. <laughs> This is rose, gardenia, jasmine, amber, precious wood, and white musk. I do definitely get, I think this little bit of soapiness I get is from the rose, but the wood and the white musk really plays really nicely with the floral. So this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And the bottle and presentation for this particular one, if it is pure extreme, good lord. Good lord, it's perfect. It's stunning. It's like encrusted with crystals. It's got a wood lacquer box. It's like, I didn't think I'd see any box that kind of beat by Killian's presentation. This one. I'll leave a link below um, if you guys wanted to check it out to see because it is really pretty. But yeah, so this smells really, I don't know why, I always do this with them when I'm talking. This smells really, really nice. Now this to me seems like it might be a tad too heavy for the evening. Or not for the evening, for the early daytime. Like you put it on, wet your when you wake up, and you go about your day. But I feel like this would be a wonderful early to late afternoon fragrance and might be really nice for like evening casual. Now I think this also might be really nice for a little bit evening formal because it is really beautiful. But my definition of evening florals are a little bit darker. And this, although it isn't bright, it's not a dark floral fragrance. So that's just my personal preferences. But definitely I would say kind of like evening casual or late afternoon. I think this would be a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It is a beautiful fragrance. I'm really enjoying spraying this. Spraying this, smelling this, experiencing this. So far, based on all the fragrances from M. Mikalef, this seems to be the pricier one. Now again, the price that I see for a bottle of this for 50 milliliters is $535. But do keep in mind, I think a lot of that price that I see has to do with the presentation. Um, just from Lucky Scent, from what I've seen, they might be able to find this other places. But just the juice in here is really, really nice and very beautiful. I don't know how it lasts. Obviously, I'm going to wear this today and I'll let you know tomorrow how it wears. But so far, this has been really pretty. It's just a nice floral, and it's completely different than the other fragrances that I've tried from Emiklef right now. So this is a really nice departure from what I've been experiencing um, thus far. All right, so what I wore yesterday evening, and I'm gonna read you the notes again, just because this was a very interesting, distinctive fragrance. Um, it was a kawa, and it is a masculine. It's between unisex and masculine. I would say it's definitely more on the masculine side, but I think it would be really sexy for anyone to wear. Um, the notes are bergamot, orange flowers, um, fig leaves, uh, cocoa, vanilla, patchouli, vetiver, amber, and white musk. I got a lot of cocoa, I got some bergamot and patchouli, and then there was just like an underlying um, vanilla that just lasted throughout the entire time I wore it. Now, when I first put this on, it was very, 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 um, 
there was a lot going on. And like when I experienced it yesterday, I'll link the video, oh, the video, the, all the videos, the previous days are linked below. So if you're interested to see what I thought, my initial impressions, initially I was entranced by this and I still am entranced by this, but I think it lost a little bit of its sparkle the more I wore it. And there's nothing wrong with that because that happens with fragrances. This one specifically, I'm looking over at the notes because there's a lot and I, a scatterbrained, but um, when I first put it on, you got the cocoa, you got the vanilla, the patchouli, the bergamot, um, the vetiver, the amber, and the musk. And as it warmed up, after about two to three hours, all the beautiful complexity behind that fragrance kind of melted away a little bit and I was left with like amber and musk which was really nice and very pleasant and I did enjoy it but I think the opening of this fragrance and the complexity and its distinctiveness is what's really entrancing about it and it kind of lost that after a few hours the, the perfume itself lost its integrity now that could be the environment I live in that could be my body chemistry it could be completely based on me. I am willing to wear this a few more times to see how I like it because I did really like it when I first ex experienced it and sniffed it. But if it's one of those fragrances where the beauty of it only lasts an hour or two, it'll probably be put away and only used when I'm like going to dinner or going someplace and I need to apply a scent and it only needs to stay on my body for an hour or two. So for me, this is probably going to be a very specific scent that I use for specific things that I'm doing or places that I'm going. It's not going to be a just spritz and go. However, it is very beautiful and after all the notes settled down and it did lose a little bit of its sparkle, it was still a very, um, it was a beautiful scent still. It just, if you smell it, there's something about it that's just really intriguing and it kind of gets a little boring. It's still beautiful but boring after a little bit. So that's my only kind of um, little mini review. Again, I'm going to wear this a few more times because I did really enjoy it when I first put it on and I'll probably do a more comprehensive review on this after I've worn it a few more times. Um, again, it is a unisex masculine fl uh, flavor of uh, fragrance um, and I tend to wear a little bit more on the feminine side if I do stray into masculine. I go more into the heavy woody fragrances, but it was really beautiful and I would recommend at least sampling it if you have the opportunity to. It is really, really worth just getting that first experience when you first smell it on your skin. That is really, really beautiful. Anyway, if you like content like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this and also don't forget to subscribe. It's free and I'm free and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well so I'll always have something in for you to watch there we go also my perfume advent calendar series I'm gonna be having one video a day so I mean I got a lot for you to watch so if you like this stuff don't su su don't subscribe subscribe so you don't miss out in any case I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day month year whatever and I'll see you next time